Data layers inside of the engine can be really, really helpful for artists. So let's create one and show you how you can use it. Go ahead and open up your content drawer, right click, and then type in the word data. And you're looking for the data layer right here. Go ahead and give it a name. I'm gonna call this one roof and then double click on it. And the thing I want you to pay attention to is this right here. What this means is that anything inside of this data layer is only gonna be infected here inside of the editor, where if we choose runtime, anything inside of this data layer will be affected only in the actual game. Let's go ahead and leave it at editor and go ahead and close this down. Next, we're gonna go ahead and open up the outliner where we have more control. Navigate up here to the top left where it says windows, come down here into world partition and go ahead and choose this data layers outliner. Now inside of here at the very top, I want you to go ahead and right click, go ahead and say create new data layer. And then with this one selected, we're gonna go ahead and choose the data layer that we just created. Go ahead and just click that and go ahead and choose roof. Next, we'll go ahead and select the assets that we wanna to add to this data layer. In this case, it's these roof pieces. From here, go ahead and right click on the actual data layer that we're gonna be using. And then go ahead and choose add selected actors to selected data layers. Now by toggling the eyeball, we can see which of those actors is actually inside that data layer. Now the last piece to this is this little checkbox right down here. What we can say is that we do not want this to be initially loaded whenever the engine loads, but we'll always see it in game, which is great because now every time the engine loads, we'll never have to try and hide these pieces and we can go ahead and make any changes that we need to on these lower levels inside of this building.